Hi Sagittarius! How are you guys doing? My goodness, this is going to be a reading for May 1st through May 15th. We are already in May. Um, thank you so much for all the likes and subscribes and comments on the videos. I just, I'm trying my best to get back to all the comments and there's been so many and I'm just so happy um, that you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, and also for all the personal bookings that I've done, I've been having so much fun connecting with you guys. So thank you for that. Um, if you would like a personal book, a uh, personal reading or a personal session with me, the link is below. It's going to take you to my website uh, for the different options. So I have some email readings and some one, two, and three topic readings, kind of, you know, something for everyone. Uh, you can also find me on Instant Go, which has been so much fun. You can send a text and get a quick answer from me. It's also really cheap, <clears throat> just a fast, um, fun way to connect. You can also donate to the channel. The link is below. And also, if you're interested in energy therapy, I'm, I, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. Um, we can still work and connect. All of my clients live elsewhere, um, and it's still just as powerful. So you can go to my website and read about that and check out the testimonials if, you know, if you're a little curious about the distance um, therapy. And I think that's it for Shop Talk. So again, this is going to be your reading for May 1st through the 15th. We've got, um, whew, we've got the full moon in Scorpio on April 29th. So we're still going to be feeling those energies moving into the first part of May. So it's going to be a pretty powerful uh, full moon. And then we're building to the new moon in Taurus on May 15th. So... Those are kind of the energies we're working with, and we've still got Pluto and Saturn retrograde, so still working through some inner issues that we need, okay? But I know on my last reading for you guys, we were kind of um, working on a love, a new love and relationship, so I'm really curious to see what's going to come out in the cards today for you guys. Has the love worked out? What's coming up for you? Are you resisting? Are you moving on? So let's see. What do Sagittarius need to know May 1st through May 15th? Okay, interesting. So we're starting off with the Three of Swords. So what has come up from your past that you're dealing with that's really painful? Okay, the Three of Swords is pain and hurt and it can be betrayal, but the wounds are deep and they're from, from a long time ago. So I'm curious if, you know, this new relationship that you've been in or the new person that you're dating, if they've really brought up some of that pain which if that's the case, I want you to hear me when I say this, that is very, very positive because that means it's ready to clear. You're ready to let it go. Um, you know, always when we're dating somebody new or we have a new relationship, in the beginning is the most important part because it is bringing up our fears and our insecurities. And we have to remember those fears and insecurities don't come from the immediate partner. Those are coming from past experiences, okay? The new person in our life is just triggering the emotion and the emotional pain that is already there from before. So when it gets triggered, that is when you have the power to clear it if you can face it, okay? But with the Three of Swords, you really have to be ready to face it and to be open and communicate with the person you're dating. You know, hey, this is making me feel this way and it's making me really uncomfortable. Or I was hurt in a past relationship and this is reminding me of that same feeling. You know, you have to be able to communicate and really talk about what's going on, okay? But, you know, with this card, there's no blood on here, which means the wounds have been there for a very long time. So with Saturn and Pluto retrograde, I want you to really look within because that stuff is coming up for a reason. Next, we've got the Judgment card. 
which is beautiful. This is a card of rebirth and like, you know, reconnecting with yourself. And it's also a card of self-forgiveness and just forgiveness in general. So if you are having pain and fear come up, like I was saying, now is the time to really forgive yourself for that. Forgive anybody that needs to be forgiven so that you can move on, okay? You know, I feel like this is you and these are the different situations and people and hurts that you need to face and forgive so you can move on, okay? It's a very powerful card because if you can do that, it's like here you are, Sagittarius. You are just, here you are the king of wands, you're going to feel back in your power, in your passion, you're going to feel grounded and really like you can face a love and a relationship or a new partner or dating because you're going to let go of this stuff, right? You're going to let go of it, aren't you? <laughs> I'm encouraging you to do that because this is where you want to be, okay? That's where you feel the best. So let's see what else you need to know, Sagittarius, May 1st through the 15th. All right. So beautiful. We've got the Justice card. So you could be dealing with a Libra. I think an air sign in Libra showed up in your last reading too. So um, if it's not a Libra that you're dealing with, you know, the justice card is very much about balance and laying down the law and what it is that you, you want and you expect. And which I think is perfect because once you go through and you forgive yourself and move past the hurt and you're in your, you know, king of wands energy, you are going to feel balanced and centered. Okay. But again, I, I'm feeling this is like a Libra that you're dealing with. So you'll have to let me know in the comments if that resonates with you. Um, if it is a Libra or an air sign, we've got a couple swords going on here. So Sagittarius, I feel like you're dealing with an air sign. Um, but the Knight of Swords is messages or thoughts coming in quick. Which, if you are releasing fear and pain from the past and you are dealing with an air sign or a Libra, I think once you release that, your thoughts and feelings for them are going to be really clear and really fast. Because you're not going to have the pain and the hurt in the way anymore. So, is that resonating with you? You know, because look at how fast, this is like a fast moving card. So once you clear it, either the relationship is going to move fast or your thoughts are going to move fast. You're going to hear something that comes in fast. But whatever the message is that's coming in, I think it's really positive because you've got the world card here. So this is like a card of completion. Maybe this, um, this Libra or this air sign that you're dealing with really does make you feel complete. It really does make you feel balanced. It's also a card of karma. So, I mean, again, with Saturn retrograde, we are releasing a lot of karma. And maybe this, this pain from the past, that was the karma you've let go of. And you're complete in that cycle now. So I think the first part of May is going to be pretty powerful for you guys. Okay? But if this is an air sign and it is a relationship, I mean, the world card and partnership is beautiful. It's perfectly balanced. You guys have all the tools and support from the universe that you need. So let's see what else is going to show up for you guys. Sagittarius. May 1st through the 15th. Okay, beautiful. So we've got the Queen of Cups. So this could be a water sign coming in for you, or this could be representing the person that you're already dealing with, just feeling really emotionally stable and emotionally connected with them. 
okay? Because the queen of cups, and this can go for male or female, they're sure of their feelings and they're sure of their emotions and they know what they want. They're not up and down. They, you know, they're pretty solid. Which with you as a fire sign, if you do have an air or water sign coming in, or maybe they have air and water in their chart, this could be a really, really good match for you. Really, really good match for you. So, yeah, I really like that. And I feel like you're going to be ready to move forward in a new adventure and a new partnership with this person. As long as you can let go of the, the fear and the pain and whatever it is from the beginning of the reading, okay, because the fool is like ready to move forward. And you may not even know, you know, where this relationship will go or where it's going to move with this air sign, Libra or water sign. But you just know that you, you're you ready to take the risk and be playful and, and try out the relationship with them, which is awesome. I mean, nobody really knows where a relationship is going when you start. So you kind of have to just take the leap of faith and trust yourself and trust that it's going to unfold as it should. Okay, but I love this. I feel like this is you guys. You're ready. You're ready to move forward. But as you move forward, you really are going to have to pay attention and not get overwhelmed. Okay, don't take on too much of a burden or avoid the situation. I'm feeling like this card, it's like... You almost want to avoid it. Like the relationship really could be something real and solid and you're ready to move forward, but then you're like, oh, but I'm really not ready to move forward. And then you might pull away and go quiet and cause the other person, you know, trying to figure out your thoughts and what the heck is going on. So just don't do this. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to your partner. Because when you shut down and you, you close communication or you, you know, play these little games, it's very difficult for air and water signs to deal with that. So you don't want to mess it up. Keep the communication open. If you are going to get overwhelmed, just say, I need a couple days. I'm overwhelmed. You know, with a relationship, it's a partnership and a team. And you have to be willing to work as a team from the beginning. Okay. But my overall feeling is that you're still moving towards love and you still have some really solid things starting and growing, which is awesome. So moving into this new moon in Taurus, really get clear on what it is that you want in a relationship, in a partnership, you know, get clear on who you want to be in a relationship and who you want to show up as. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card here. Any last, last information for you, Sagittarius? Last messages. May 1st through the 15th. Healing. All right. You got the healing card, which is exactly what I'm talking about with this. Okay. Letting go of your past hurts. Forgiving yourself. Okay, in order to heal, you have to forgive and you have to let go. Okay, but with this healing card, I feel like it's showing up at the perfect time for you. You're ready for this. I really feel like you're ready to let go of anything that's getting in the way of you really having a passionate long-term love and you're totally supported you know, with the world card, like you're capable of having it all. The only reason we ever don't have it all is when we get in our own way, okay? Which getting in our own way can be not dealing with past hurts and things from past relationships that have messed us up. Everybody's been through something that has hurt them, okay? So... Keep focusing on yourself. Trust the process. I think the first couple weeks of May are going to be really important for you, Sagittarius. So I hope that resonated with you. You'll have to let me know 
in the comments below. If you do want a personal reading to go deeper into your own situation, I would love to do that. The link is below. It's going to take you to my website. Um, if this didn't resonate with you, no problem. Watch your moon sign or your rising sign. And I can't wait to see what the second half of May will have for you guys. Okay? Take care, Sagittarius.